guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you very much for watching. Today's video is going to be an ASOS haul unboxing kind of thing. I ordered a few bits a couple of, yeah, a couple of days ago now. And so I'm just going to open it up, try them on, tell you what I think. And style them up with a few different bits like audio, just generally. Try and get a sense of how they're going to fit in my wardrobe and whether or not these pieces are for keeping or not. Okay, first up is this grey dress from weekday and um, this is kind of like just a jersey material it's grey with a high neck long sleeves it's a ripped material and um, generally I'm a fan of things this length over jeans like I like wearing long longer line stuff over skinny pants but I'm not really feeling this it doesn't it's kind of not doing anything like it's fine but I'm not really excited about it so far I'm not loving it um, I mean I have got like my socks and maybe not the trousers, the normal jeans I would wear with it on right now so I'm going to try it on with some different bits but my first impressions are a bit kind of like bleh, I'm not overly thrilled by this. Okay now I've teamed this um, dress with a proper outfit, I'm actually feeling much much better about it, I quite like it now. So what I've gone with is my ASOS Lisbon jeans, um, just some skinny blue jeans. I've got on my Gucci loafers and then I've added this jacket which is from Zalando, it's by Benetton. And I love it, I actually really 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 like this outfit. I feel like wearing a combination like this, this looks so much better than it would if this was just a normal t-shirt. And no more effort has gone into it. It's just as much of an easy piece to wear, but the length just makes it look a little bit more styled, if that makes sense. So now that I've put this on, I'm feeling so much better about this top. I like it. like it a lot more. Okay, now I've kind of gone for like a really transitional look by wearing this actually as a dress and going bare-legged. So this I would wear in an evening and I've paired it with my Alexander Wang sock boots. Um, I do like flashing a bit of leg with that kind of awkward length boot. I think it looks very, I don't want to say cool, but cool is the word that I'm going to go with. Kind of effortlessly cool. Um, and so yeah, for the rest of it, if you're going bare legs, even like coming into the spring months, you're going to want a coat because realistically it's still not that warm. So I've just added this grey coat, um, again sticking to a similar length as the previous coat, just showing a tiny bit of the dress, of the hem of the dress from under the coat. And then to just add a little bit more excitement, I've put on this scarf. This is, oh the, the coat's from Cost by the way, this scarf is also from Cost. Um, and I just like having a different coloured grey with it basically to break things up a little bit. And again, as I said, if you've got bare legs, you're going to want the layers elsewhere. But yeah, I'm liking this look. This is definitely I'd wear, you know, for an evening thing to go out for dinner or something like that. Um, something a little bit more dressed up. Okay, lastly for this outfit, I've gone mega, mega, mega slouchy. Which might not be to everybody's taste, but I personally think it works. So these are the Topshop Girlfriend jeans. These are really, really, really amazing jeans. They look good on everybody, so I would not recommend, couldn't recommend these enough. Um, Though, yeah, these completely change how the whole look feels, just from not being a super skinny jean, obviously makes it look um, much more slouchy. And then I've also gone with a slouch jacket, this is from Massimo Duty. A general tip for things like this, if you want to make your um, boyfriend or girlfriend or mum, whatever you want to call them, jeans, look a little bit more fitted, is to turn up the bottom, but not like one clean, full turn up. I like to just almost almost turn up a corner if that makes any sense turn up one edge of it slightly the rest of it will automatically curl up but it still makes it look very effortless like having a neat turn up completely takes away the slouchy baggy effortless look um, but a half one almost looks ac accidental and what it does is it just pulls a whole jean at the bottom in a little bit more and makes it look a bit more fitted so I have done that for this outfit because I think it needs it Initially, I thought I'd try a pair of this with trainers, but it was kind of like a bit too much of a homeless man look. So instead, I went with my um, Jean Vito Rossi uh, suede nude quartz because yeah, they completely balance it off perfectly and make it look super chic. Okay, so this definitely does not feel very me at all. Um, I picked this out because I've been after like a white cotton top that's not a shirt um, to wear as like a bit of a transitional piece. And this just looked really, really nice online. I do like the, the, this section. Um, I, like, I don't find those frills too overpowering, but the sleeves, I definitely do. Like, 
I don't know why these sleeves are so ginormous. Um, I'm thinking maybe like when I fold them under, I feel much better about it, and that feels like something I would be more comfortable wearing. And it's kind of summery, and it is a bit girly for me, but sometimes I like girly pieces to then team with really androgynous things. So what I'm going to do is try this on with some jackets and see if under jackets these sleeves look okay and if I like it more because as I said I do oddly, it's kind of unusual for me but I do like this front bit with the panels and stuff, it's just these absolutely ridiculous sleeves that look more like wings, like they're just absolutely ginormous. Okay guys, I'm feeling completely different about this top when it's worn with the jacket. I love how it looks under a jacket, I just really, really, really dislike it without one because of the sleeves. Um, so, the first outfit of this one, I've gone for something casual. Um, again, I've got Topshop Girlfriend's jeans on. I've got my Celine sneakers, my trusty, trusty Celine slip-ons, um, the top. And then this kind of like, sort of like a bomber style, I guess, jacket, which is from Massimo Duty. And I absolutely love this. Like, I just think this looks really, really good for a transitional outfit. I think it looks really good. It's just the sleeves that completely ruin it for me. So for the next outfit, I've done something that I kind of like pretty much do in all of my styling videos, and that is put a bit of a suit together. One of my favorite looks. Um, and I like outfits like this just as much with something like some superstars or for the time being, I've put it with my Ted and Muffy snakeskin boots just to go for a bit of a statement shoe but actually I'm going to try it with the superstars as well because I think that would look just as cool. I literally picked this one because I wanted to see how the top worked with a jacket that was longer like the last jacket obviously hit a very similar length to the bottom of the top this one's um, quite a bit longer and I like it I like it a lot I think like you could definitely wear this to work I think in the um, well not even in the summer months but you know like coming into spring it's getting warmer I think you could get away with this to work, it's really, really smart. Um, I don't work in an office environment or anything like that, so I would just wear this to go out in the evening. Or like I said, I put some sneakers on and just wear this day to day because I do like to wear a suit on some days, even though it's a smart outfit, I do still think it looks really good. Okay, so next is another item from weekday. These are a pair of jeans. This style is called the Army, A-M-I, and I have another pair of this style. And I like it a lot. Just like some general comments about the style, I find that and this is a waist 27. I think this is a waist 27. Yeah, this is a waist 27. Be that I'm about 5 foot 8 and a kind of a 32 to 34 leg length generally. So these come up shorter on me than they will. I know they probably are meant to actually. And yeah, these have a really nice braid hem, which I like a lot. Um, it's very in at the moment. Everybody loves a fray hair at the moment. They also have this odd paint splatter effect on them, which I don't love and I don't hate. Like, it doesn't make me like them more, but I, it doesn't offend me either. So it's a really nice denim generally. It's a really nice heavy denim. They're a baggy fit and they're like a girlfriendy fit with a slightly uh, flared bottom. Why can't I speak? A slightly flared leg, but they're not too baggy or unflattering or anything like that. So this is just a style that I would recommend generally. This one has a little bit of extra fanciness going on with the rips and the frays and the paint splatter and so far I'm liking it. Okay, so next up I've got the weekday jeans on. I've gone with kind of quite a classic combination and I've added this um, striped ribbed turtleneck jumper from Massimo Duty with my very trusty H&M blazer on and again my Alexander Wine sock boots because I pretty much have like five pairs of shoes on rotation at the moment so the same shoes are going to keep cropping up because I definitely have a few favourites currently and yeah I feel like I haven't got much to say about this it's sort of a smart casual or smashual which is what I like to call smart casual outfit very easy for lots of different things and you could just as easily wear this with some trainers to make it more day to day and skip the heels um, yeah, I'm going to try it on with something super baggy now and oversized and see how it works with basically something a little less tailored. Right, baggy oversized, here we go. I have added on the weekday t-shirt dress thing, the grey one, and over that I've got this coat from All Saints. Um, when I'm doing super, when nothing is fitted, like in this outfit, 
I like to add something which has structure and so for this it's the collar um, and the lapels which are very structured like the collar will stand up and it has all this detailing on the sides and stuff which stops it from looking like a sack of potatoes basically and gives it some level of structure so this coat does that this does it enough for my liking as well um yeah this is like a super easy look another thrower on it i'd wear this for pretty much everything and anything day to day just nice chilled relaxed weekends kind of an outfit that looks kind of good but not like you've tried hard can you get the theme that I'm always trying to go for an effortless feel with my outfits? Basically like my ultimate goal. Okay, so next up I have some more trousers. And so far I'm absolutely loving these. They are like a dusty pink colour, which I like a lot at the moment. I keep seeing things of this kind of colour and just absolutely loving it. Um, they're a linen mix, I believe. And they're incredibly lightweight. These are like holiday trousers. They are some really, 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 really thin material. So yeah, I am liking these quite a bit. But as I said, they are super, super, super lightweight. So if you like them, just bear that in mind. These are not a warm, you know, pant that's going to be keeping you warm or anything like that. But I'm excited to try these on with some other bits because this colour I have just been loving so, so much and I wanted to introduce it to my wardrobe with something affordable first before like really committing to it because I want to see how it fits in my wardrobe um, because I just love it, I absolutely love it. Okay, finally, one of the main reasons I have been loving this shade of pink so much is because I think it looks really, really, really good with all black. So obviously I had to try out an all black outfit with them um, and this time I've kept it very wintry and winter appropriate and this is definitely the kind of look like I'd go and wear tomorrow or something like that. So, we have on a very old and well-loved black high-neck jumper from Kors. I'm sorry about the constant presence of high-neck jumpers in all my videos. I just love them. And then I've also got on this shorter length coat from Kors. This actually comes with a belt, which I have misplaced somewhere. So, my next job is to look for that belt. And then I've added on some black ankle boots. These are from All Saints, just some really, really, really simple boots. I love this outfit. These trousers are definitely the favourite thing that have come out of this ASOS order. I, I just love them so much that they look so, so cool. And yeah, they're, I love it with this outfit too. And I actually think I literally am going to wear this outfit tomorrow because I like it so much. So keeping with the sort of thing that I have sort of been talking about, transitional dressing, this is the sort of outfit I would wear for an evening in the coming months. And like utilising knitwear in a different way, um, not having jackets with them, not as a layering piece, but to mix with different textures and just to wear on their own. Um, so, I have teamed this quite old, again, jumper from French Connection. It's like a lovely oatmeal colour and it goes lovely with these trousers. I do think colour palettes like this always look incredibly chic, like the creams and the beiges paired together have a very effortlessly chic look. Um, generally I often find it has an older look to it as well, not necessarily very youthful. I'm not sure why I think that, there's just something about it. That being said, I'm still completely in love with this outfit. I've teamed it with my new Jambita Rossi's to keep the whole look within that colour palette and this is just, as I already said, my perfect spring evening out, you know, going out for dinner outfit where you can get away without having the jacket um, but you're not going to freeze to death because you've still got a knit on. Okay, so that's everything from me today. Thank you very much for watching as always. Do let me know what you thought of all the pieces and the outfits and things like that in the comments. And yes, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.